Hey guys and welcome back to another beauty video. It's been a while. Today I thought I would um, hop on and talk about empties because I haven't done one of these in absolute ages and I've been collecting empties for the past few months. I'm going to say this is just like 2022 empties so far. Um, there's probably been a few more that have kind of escaped into the bin. In fact there has been and I'll tell you what they are. Especially two because I put them in the bin last week and I forgot put them in the recycling should I say and I forgot to put them in um this pile for this video so without further ado let's get into it I've got a lot of my cellar waters because I use my cellar water every single day I've got four bottles one of them is like almost empty and I put it in this video because I was like I want to compare these three and this has got like a week left so um there's three Garnier ones you guys will know probably by now how much I love Garnier my cellar water it's so good and it's just very very affordable they last for ages the only thing is they do so many different versions it's genuinely hard to pick now which is the best one I used to really love like the original one's never been like my number one the oil infused one was my favorite for a while but I actually find this one a little bit heavy now if you wear a lot of waterproof makeup or like a lot of makeup in general this one's really good like if you've been out um at an event or something and you've got quite a lot of makeup on or a lot of eye makeup this one is really really good um however i think my favorite is probably between these two which are the newer ones one of them is the vitamin c one which i really really like um and the other one is uh hyaluronic acid i'm gonna say the hyaluronic it's a hyaluronic aloe water i'm gonna say this one's actually probably my favorite in terms of this time of year and being hydrating because i really think it is excellent um they are owned Garnier, if you don't know garnier are owned by the same company that make l'oreal paris products and l'oreal paris do have as part of their i want to say it's their revitalift um collection the purple one like anti-aging one they do have a hyaluronic acid micellar that i also love and have spoken about it's like the plumping micellar so so nice um but this one is just as good i think um, and it's a lot cheaper. I think the, the L'Oreal one's maybe £10 and this is probably £4. However, it's slightly more watery. Like the L'Oreal one, you can I feel like you can feel the hyaluronic in it more. Maybe I've made that up. I'm not entirely sure. Also, if my bra keeps poking out, I'm sorry, guys. But um, I, yeah, there's not my... <laughs> I don't have much in my wardrobe that fits me anymore. Um, this is one of the things, but it's supposed to tie around your waist and obviously I don't have a waist anymore. So it's kind of tied under my boobs. So it's become a little bit large on the boob section. Um, I'll just try and cover it up with my hair, shall I? Last few weeks of pregnancy, always fun. Um, there we go, micellar water. The other micellar water I wanted to talk about was um, the CeraVe one, which I finished and loved, but I really, really liked it. It's way more expensive than the Garnier one, and I just can't get on board with spending more money. It's not even expensive, I think it's, it's maybe £10, something like that. But the Garnier one is so good, and it's so affordable. Like, I used up a, I think I had a Le Mer one once, and it was amazing. But I was like, I just can't justify it when the Garnier one, it does the job. It's like taking your makeup off, you know what I mean? It's not like staying on your skin, it's not necessarily like, active in terms of ingredients, so... Anyway, my cellar water, moral of the story is the Garnier um, Hyaluronic Aloe one is my current fave and I'm getting through it like no man's business. Another thing that has run out, oh no it's not, oh they've both run out. I was filming a video with these the other day and I realised I had the wrong one so now I have both of them because one of them had run out and the other one hadn't. Anyway, they've both run out. Um, these are my Sarah Chapman Skinesis Skin Insurance um, SPFs. I have to say one of them is invisible and one of them is a tinted one i bought the invisible one by accident and i must stress that because these are so expensive they're about 60 i think they're 68 pounds um i usually buy them when there's some kind of discount code going on because they are pricey and i have to say just the spf one i would not spend the money on and i bought it by accident because the the difference between them if you can see this one says invisible there but it's like very like it's diff unless you know what you're looking for it's easy to miss because they look very very similar um so the invisible is quite small there um they also didn't have 
the tinted one in stock in SPF 50 for ages. I don't, I don't they had some kind of stocking issue, I think. Um, and they had the 30 one. So I ended up buying this thinking this was this one. Anyway, um, the, the invisible one, I would say is not worth the money. Don't bother with it. The tinted one is one of my all time favorite products. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's one of the few tinted moisturizers that I genuinely feel like you can apply enough of the product to give you a decent SPF coverage. I still usually put a spray over the top of mine, which I'll get onto in a minute anyway. Um, but I feel like, especially not in summer, this is like, I feel like you can apply enough. Whereas with a lot of, say like foundations or tinted moisturizer products, you're not necessarily applying enough products to get that full SPF kind of like rating coverage on your face. Cause you do need quite a lot. This one, I feel like you can apply quite a lot and like build it up. I just love it. It's a really nice, kind of very easy just like throw on product and yeah it's it just leaves your skin looking really nice and it's just very kind of easy day to day um like i said very hard to get hold of for a while but it is now back so i'm definitely going to be repurchasing that talking of spf another thing that i've repurchased many many times is the la roche posay and Thelios spf 50 um invisible easy application mist so this is the anti-shine mist I would say, like, it's not, it's not the most anti-shine thing ever. However, there are a lot of these on the market, these like facial over makeup sprays, and I think this one is the best. It's slightly more expensive than the alternative one that they do from Garnier, which I have to say is very good, but this one is better in terms of sitting on top of makeup, um, and this is kind of what I tend to go for. Um, it's just such a good thing to have in your handbag, especially if you're like at an outdoor event or something and you've got makeup on, but you wanna keep topping up your SPF throughout the day, but you don't wanna like rub it. It's really, really excellent. I love La Roche-Posay um, SPF in general, um, but this is just a really good product to have in the summer um, and it's very kind of portable and, and handbag friendly. Also very good for little ones as well, if you kind of like, you can kind of sneak and like, whoosh, and then it doesn't require much rubbing. So if I need to top up like ribs, a really good example actually of what I do use this for as well, it's probably not what it's meant for, is if Riv won't wear a hat, I'll put this along her hairline. Cause a lot of, um, along her um, parting, cause a lot of um, SPFs are quite oily or greasy, or if you try and put them on the scalp, you end up with greasy hair. Whereas this one is quite dry in texture. So you can get away with kind of spraying it along that parting. Um, yeah, because she doesn't like hats a lot of the time and I have to have a battle with her to wear a hat. So if she's like pulling it off constantly or whatever, I just put this on as well um, for extra coverage. That's it for SPFs. What else have I got? Got some skincare goodies. BioEffect Hydrating Cream. This stuff is so nice. I genuinely think BioEffect is a really underrated brand. Um, they are a Scandinavian brand. I genuinely have loved all of the products I've tried from them and the hydrating cream for me it says moisturizer for imp improved complexion and I feel like that is very very vague for me this is like my go-to moisturizer if I just want something for hydration and that's it if I'm using say um, a fairly high percentage exfoliating mask or if I've been using my um p50 exfoliator and i and i've been using a lot obviously recently i've been using a lot less actives on my skin because i'm pregnant two more weeks left other than breastfeeding which you also not supposed to use them anyway a while left <laughs> but soon i will be back on the retinol soon um so yeah obviously i haven't been using as many actives on my skin recently um but when i am using a lot of actives i found this is really really um nice and just it's soothing it's not going to ca cause any irritation it's not going to kind of um cause any complications with your skin being overly sensitized from using too many things altogether. it's just very very hydrating thick i love using it as a nighttime cream i don't usually use it in the day i usually use it at night that's finished love that the other one that's got this again i included this because i think it's got like maybe f four days left in it um, is my ginseng into the glow brightening serum this is like the third one of these that i've gone through i love this serum so much so cooling and like refreshing to use um it is it's one of those serums that's a kind of like a, a good 
do it all serum so it's got vitamin c it's got hyaluronic acid in there it's um very like hydrating but as well as brightening it's great morning serum um if you want something that is just it feels divine on the skin but it's also very kind of instantly um the texture kind of instantly plumps your skin and makes it look fresher um but also it has the vitamin c there so it's working against kind of like um dullness and dark spots and things like that um what else that's it for let's move on to makeup i've only got two makeup items um i feel like i never finish makeup i finish skincare finish body care obviously and hair care makeup very very rarely um the first thing is my maybelline this is so old and gross now it lasted me so long it got to the point where i was like when is this pencil gonna actually run out because i've been using it like every single day it's the maybelline brow ultra slim 1.5 millimeter defining pencil and i did a paid collaboration with these guys on instagram it must be a year ago and they sent me a few so there's like i've been through a few of them and this is my last one standing um they're really affordable i think they're 4.99 something like that don't like trust me on that 100 percent because it's off the top of my head but they're affordable it's maybelline um and they last really well. They have the little spoolie on the end. It's really fine. It's quite soft for a brow pencil. So if you like quite a lot of um, color payoff when you're applying it, really good. The shade I use is medium brown. Um, and I've really just enjoyed using it. I thought this was a new product when I worked with them. Apparently it wasn't. Apparently it's been on the market for ages. I just hadn't been aware of it. It really is very good i really rate it and if you're looking for an affordable brow pencil i would say look no further and try it out um the other thing is an old classic nars radiant creamy concealer the shade i use is custard um and this one is literally like dried up like an old yeah i tried to get more out of it it's just not happening it is dead i hate products like this as well because it's like there's always more in there do you know what i mean like there's some in there but you just can't get it out um i love this concealer really really good kind of all-rounder um classic a perfume that again has a couple of days left in it i love this i'm gonna include i included it anyway because i was just like i want to talk about it by Rado mixed emotions i bought this probably last summer maybe even the summer before love it it's such an unusual fragrance i get so many comments on it when i wear it the way i like to describe it and it's kind of a non-complimentary way but it's in a good way it smells like a mixture between an ashtray and a sweet shop like you it's just wild it's super smoky and like deep and kind of it's got like a real masculinity to it and then it's also like saccharine sweet at the same time but somehow those two come together and they just work and it smells like nothing else i've ever smelled i've never smelled a fragrance like this i definitely will be repurchasing this byrode is an expensive brand i feel like i won't repurchase it instantly but i'll definitely come back to it in the future i've really enjoyed using it and for me to finish a fragrance is quite rare as well because i'm quite easily distracted by new ones and i'll just kind of chop and change i have quite a few in my collection whereas that one i really stuck with and i've worn it a lot like i said got a lot of compliments a lot of people kind of notice it because it is really unusual maybe they're lying maybe they don't like it and it's just me but i love it it's such a strange fragrance but so good hair wise um i've only got one thing but there's definitely been more because I've definitely finished shampoos and conditioners. I feel like it's probably just the same Purology Hydrate. I'm halfway through the gold one, the Nano, what's it called, Nanotech? Nano something, anyway, um, which is excellent. But I haven't finished that yet. That's for another video to talk about in my favorites video. Um, what I have finished though, and I'm sad about it, I need some more of this stuff because it is so good. This is the Color Fanatic Top Coat and Tone. Um, I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with purple shampoo. Sometimes I love it in like use it and love it other times i'm a bit like i'd rather use like my normal shampoo and conditioner and then have like a treatment like this because genuinely this isn't that purple when you use it it's kind of like an like an odd smells so good it's like an odd aubergine color um very much like the lid but lighter if you get what i mean it's not like that really really bright purple that some of them are however it's more of a like i like the fact that it's more of like kind of um a gloss like an actual texture thing for your hair rather than just the tone so it's supposed to last eight i don't know for levels eight to ten it's supposed to last six weeks so yeah use every four to six washes um 
oh no, so it says it lasts six washes. I worked with them on this, this product when they launched it in the UK as well, and there was a little bit of discrepancy about how many washes they recommend, and I swear there's, it's like six washes or a month or eight washes, and they can't quite, obviously everyone's hair is different, but for me, I would probably wash my hair six times in a month, especially at the moment, being pregnant, my hair just doesn't, it's so weird, like normally, my hair doesn't get greasy, it normally just gets drier and drier and drier and just needs hydration. But in pregnancy, it hasn't really got dry either. So I've been washing my hair once a week, once every eight days, nine days, which I know some people would be like, ah, Mike would be like that because he washes his hair every single day. Um, but you know, when you're tired and you're pregnant, I'm like, thank God. <laughs> and my hair just like stays the same. Like, I, like it maybe has a kink in it from tying it up, which I have to straighten out. But it just like, I haven't washed this in, I, don't, I think I haven't washed my hair in, probably 10 days yeah <laughs> anyway sorry guys if you think that's gross but yeah I'll take it I hate washing my hair um so anyway for me this is probably like a once a month um treatment I love it it just really refreshes the color it really gives you like super like super hydrated hair if you color your hair it just leaves it like really really sleek and it blow dries beautifully after using it and that lasts for a really long time like it lasts for me i would say like four washes solidly um so yeah like a month and i i, I just yeah i can't rate this enough for an at-home treatment it's really good i feel like that was the waffliest review ever but if you're blonde really good i do think they also do a slightly different one for darker hair too so if you've got brown hair um then definitely have a look because purology is just amazing anyway i love all of their products on to body products i have a lot of body products the first thing i'm going to say is the two things that i threw away last week because they were in the shower and we'd run out of refills is the loxitan um almond shower oil we've been through two bottles of it i love it it's just the most indulgent ridiculous just divine thing ever um especially like it when i have an extra extra large bump and i'm like rubbing it on my belly like oh so nice um super hydrating just really luxurious to use also very expensive and is it worth the money as a treat but it's pricey something else that i've been using the last couple of weeks is this which is the new scent from the body shop it's the um refreshing passion fruit they sent me a few things from this line it smells so nice just finished it last night to be honest with you i've actually been using this in my bath it's a shower gel it works very well in the bath i'm sure they probably do a bath product of this scent um which i don't have but i didn't have any bubble bath I used this in the bath i was like that's actually very very good for bubble bath um so i used it up in the bath and it just smells so nice it's like fresh and just fruity and nice and sometimes i like fruity scents for like shower gels and baths and stuff and sometimes i like kind of sweeter richer scents but at the moment i don't know just something about this passion fruit it's really sharp and nice um another thing is the elemis skin nourishing bath milk this kind of smells grannyish. it like smells like i'm just gonna have a top lip it smells like um baby powder so it's kind of like a nostalgic and grannyish at the same time but it's really really lovely on your skin i get through this way quicker than i probably should i'm like oh in the bath um but it is very very nice and i've been using that quite a lot recently finished off the bottle um body creams i've been using a lot of body cream because my body is a little bit larger than normal so i'm getting through it faster but i'm also applying it like two sometimes three times a day depending on what i'm wearing I'm, if i'm wearing a dress sometimes i just lift it up and put some on my belly i'm like please no more stretch marks the stretch marks this time are definitely worse than last time i didn't they didn't appear last time until after i had had river this time i have some on my lower belly already so i'm like dreading afterwards because i think it's gonna get worse but it's worth it just I, f I feel like it's one of those things with stretch marks you're kind of like genetically gonna get them or you're gonna not get them um but moisturizing does feel nice and i do feel like it does help minimize what you're gonna get to a certain extent but at the same time it's also just nice to take care of your skin i feel like your skin and your whole body in general goes through so much in pregnancy that you're just like anything you can do to kind of make it feel nice and just treat yourself is always a good thing um so firstly the bloom and blossom elastic fantastic stretch mark cream this ran out very quickly but it was very good it a little bit does not go a long way it's quite thick it's in a pump and it's quite a thick texture 
and I just found I just was like five pumps on my belly some more pumps on my arm it, like putting it everywhere and it just went very very fast something else that ran out very very fast is my um, L'Occitane almond delightful body balm this is the second one of these I've been through in the last few months <laughs> it smells so good it smells so good the texture is so good again a little bit does not go a long way and it's an expensive product so it is very very much a treat but um it is divine um and then lastly i'm obsessed with this this is the um sol de janeiro so it's the same brand that make the bum bum cream the brazilian bum bum cream this is their newest one which is the bea floor um elasti cream in the pink pot this smells incredible it's super sweet it actually smells like um a really expensive i can't remember what is that what is that um baccarat 50 something hang on i'm gonna find out baccarat rouge 540 by maison francis i never know how to say this this name kirk Jian? i don't know basically really divine fragrance that's like 200 pounds um, that smells amazing. This is like a dupe for it. It smells the same in a body cream and it's very strong as if you've ever tried the Brazilian bum bum cream You'll know that kind of smells like the Laura Mercier pistachio scent to me um, And I like it, but I'm not like crazy about it. This one. I'm crazy about the scent. It smells so good This is the mini version um, Which I finished a while ago and I've now got the bigger one because I bought the mini one to try it see if I liked it um, and then got the bigger one and I'm working my way through that. However, one thing I would say, this is not easily absorbed. Um, it is quite, uh, like you have to like really work it into the skin. So if you don't like that in a cream, it's not for you. If you do like that in a cream, cause it's nice for like, if you, so sometimes creams like that, like force you to like really massage it in and it's like better for your skin, I think. Cause you actually like get it really into the skin. If you do like that, I would recommend it. That's it for my empties. I feel like I was going at such a pace and then I'm like, that's it, that's it, it's finished. It is finished, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I've been talking a million miles an hour. Um, I will see you very soon and I hope you're having a fabulous summer. Bye guys.